Hi, everybody. Today on Political Access, it's going to be another political shift. This time, it's for president between 1980 and 1984. So this is Ronald Reagan winning election and then winning re-election in 84. Both of them were by landslides. 84 was even better. So I have my normal spreadsheet here. And I know it's not the prettiest thing, but let's go through it anyway. First column is the states. The second column, 1980 Democratic vote. That is Jimmy Carter, 1980 Republican vote, Ronald Reagan, followed by the 1984 Democratic vote, Walter Mondale, the 84 Republican vote, that is Reagan again. The next column is the Democratic shifts between those two elections, followed by the Republican shifts. And the last column is the net change between the two parties, between the two elections. And then I have my usual shading here, the very darkest colors, those are going to be 10 or more point shifts, all the way down to the lightest colors, those are going to be under 5 point shifts. So quick refresher, back in 1980, Ronald Reagan defeated the incumbent Jimmy Carter. Reagan got 489 electoral votes. He got almost 51% of the popular vote. Carter only got 49 electoral votes and 41% of the popular vote. In 84, Reagan really turned on the Jets. He got it all the way up to 525 electoral votes, 49 states, almost 59% of the popular vote. Walter Mondale, he only got 13 electoral votes, one state plus D.C., and about 40.6% of the popular vote. So one other thing to keep in mind is the third party vote share in 1980. Combined, it was around 8% nationally. Each state is, of course, going to have different amounts. But in 1984, there was very little third party vote. So almost all of that would be allocated into the two major parties. So that's a little bit of brief background. Now let's go through these states. We will start in Alabama in 1980. Jimmy Carter got 47.5% of the vote. Ronald Reagan got 48.8%. Jump ahead head to 1984. Walter Mondale sank down to 38.3%. Ronald Reagan, he bumped it up to 60.5. That's a net loss of 9.2 for the Democrats, a net gain of 11.7 for the Republicans, and a total net change of 20.9 for the Republicans. That's a big GOP shift there. We're going to see a lot more of those. So now we know how this works. We can quickly go through the rest of these states. Alaska, that got 8.8% redder. Arizona, redder as well by one and a half. Arkansas, Big lurch to the right by 21.6. California, that was Ronald Reagan's home state, but that defied the trend. Went back toward the Democrats, but only by 0.6%. Colorado, that went back to the right by 4.3. And now we've got some big shifts here toward the GOP. Connecticut went 12.2. Delaware, 17.6. Florida, 13.6. Georgia, that had the biggest shift of all the states. That went a massive 35.2 toward Ronald Reagan and the Republicans. A lot of that is because of 1980. Jimmy Carter, the Democrat, that was his home state. He was the governor there. With him not on the ballot in 84, and given Reagan's popularity, that hit a giant lurch away from the Democrats. Hawaii, that's a blue state, but that also went back toward the Republicans by 13.2. Idaho as well by 4.7, and Illinois by 4.9, and Indiana by 5.7. The next state is Iowa, and that defied the political wins that year, and it went away from the Republicans toward the Democrats by 5.3. Kansas back toward the Republican Party by 9.1, Kentucky by a big 19.1, Louisiana 17.1, Maine 18.7, Maryland 18.4, and Massachusetts a much smaller 2.7. Michigan back into double digits toward the Republicans by 12 and a half. Minnesota, a smaller 3.7 shift there. Mississippi, that went toward the right by 23.1. And also in Missouri by 13.2. Montana got a shade bluer by 2.1. Nebraska got a shade redder by 2.3. Nevada, a little bit bluer there by 1.7. New Hampshire had a moderate red shift by 8.4. Same in New Jersey by 7.5. New Mexico, mild red shift there by 2.3. New York, 5.3 toward the Republicans. North Carolina had a big shift back toward the Republicans by 21.9. North Dakota, that had the biggest shift toward the Democrats by 6.9. Ohio, back toward the right by 8.2. Oklahoma, another GOP shift there by 12.4. Same with Oregon, 2.6. Pennsylvania, very little change there, two-tenths of a percent toward the Republicans. Rhode Island, 14.2 toward the right. South Carolina, giant shift there, 26.4 toward the Republicans. South Dakota got a little bit bluer by 2.3. 
Tennessee, a lot redder there, 15.9. Texas, same direction, 13.6. Utah, the Democrats did slightly better there by 2.4. Vermont got redder by 11.1. Another GOP shift in Virginia by 12.5. Washington State, minimal change there, a half a point toward the Republicans. West Virginia, a healthy 15% toward the Republicans. Wisconsin, 2.7 toward the GOP. And the last state is Wyoming, and that went 7.7 away from the Democrats and toward the Republicans. And I also have Washington, D.C. on here. Even though Reagan did really well nationally, he did significantly worse in D.C. That went 10.2% toward the Democrats. So those are all the states and all the shifts. And like I normally do, we can take all this data and apply it to a map to help visualize the changes. And here it is. It's the same basic shading, but there's four levels this time. The solid colors, those are 10 or more point shifts. Most of those are for the Republicans. There's none for the Democrats on here. And all the way down to the very lightest colors, those are under one point shifts. Those would be the tilt margins. Places like California and Pennsylvania. So now with the different levels of shading, we can see where the biggest shifts are. Most of that is in the south, the southeast, the Sun Belt, And then there's also some scattered in places like Michigan, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Delaware, and Hawaii. So those states all went double digits toward Reagan and the Republicans, but most of the other states did the same thing, but by a smaller margin of single digits. Now the Democrats, there's not a lot of bright spots for them on this map. They've got the upper grade plains, Montana through the Dakotas, and they've got Nevada, and they've got Iowa, that was their best state. Not much else, Reagan was just too popular, nobody was going to beat him, nobody was going to make it close. After 84, and especially after 88, that is when a lot of the states on the West Coast and the Northeast, they really started to move away from the Republicans. But back in the 80s, that was just a phenomenal decade for the Republicans. There was so much red, it was probably hard to imagine things shifting and going the other way. Then we know what happened in the 90s. Bill Clinton came along, and the pendulum swung in the other direction. But as far as other takeaways on this map, there's really not much. It's comparing an excellent Republican year to an even more excellent Republican year. Take away from that what you will. I just find it interesting to see all the shifts in all the states, and especially fascinating to see it visualized on a map. So hopefully you enjoy seeing this kind of data, and let me know in the comments anything you notice about any of the shifts in any of these states. Do you remember any of these elections? Will we ever see another landslide election? Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.